Hey everyone, Cal here with some Shadowverse content. I, once again, I'm going to have to talk quiet because my roommates are going to sleep. It's currently 1 in the morning and one of them has to be awake in like 5 hours, so I want to be quiet. But I apologize for this video being so late. It's technically going to be coming out, I guess, early the next morning for me since it's 1 a.m. now. But regardless, the reason why is because there has been a bit of a meta shakeup and I spent most of the day messing around with not only decks for future videos, because people want fun stuff, so I'm working on a a potential meme-ish deck for tomorrow. But for right now, I'm going to play the deck that I've been working on to deal with the meta. There has been a lot of Nephthys, and I'm really tired of Nephthys being a hard matchup, because it's it's so common right now. It is a fun deck. The only reason why I'm not playing it is because everyone's freaking playing it, and I'm not too into the idea of a Nephthys Nephthys mirror match, you know? It just seems really based on who kind of gets their their combos first. But regardless, I wanted a deck that had a lot of exile. I also needed a deck that had the ability to um, outvalue opponents such as Dragoncraft. I needed decks. I needed a deck that was able to um, deal with the tempo of Tempo Rune because I am running into a lot of that. I don't think the nerf was enough incentive. I personally think they should have touched Daria in some way, but regardless, they didn't. And just the nerf to their spell, to that removal spell wasn't enough to dissuade Tempo Rune, it seems. So, uh, yeah, I'm mainly running into Seraph. Tempo Rune, um, Agro Sword, Agro Blood, and um, Ramp Dragon. Those are like the big ones I'm running into. So I figured this deck would help out a lot. I'm, I'm also very exhausted, so I apologize for having weird pauses. Tabutal of Good and Evil, I almost feel like we would want a third one, because it is so useful. But because you know how I am, I like my uh, I, I like my standard package. Three Lucifer, three Odin, Olivia, two Bahamuts, and Darkness. If a deck doesn't have those at the top, then it's not it's not my deck. Also, I had to put in my uh, my waifu, Sarisa. She is my my favorite uh, female character. And no, it's not because she's freaking wearing this. It's because Fran from Final Fantasy XII was my favorite character in from Final Fantasy XII. And she kind of reminds me of Fran. So I put her in here. And Moonwall Mirage, just because I do I do like the storm. Her ability's pretty good. And everything else is, is pretty solid. We don't have Goblin Mounts in this deck. Um, we don't have any wards in this deck at all. Actually, now that I think about it. For some reason, I thought we had Goblin Mount Demons in this deck. Apparently we don't, but... The deck hasn't seemed to need them. Has enough healing, enough card draw, enough removal that it's usually pretty good. We are pretty heavy on the low drops, but I mean, Aria I wouldn't really consider like a low drop because it turns into something really good. And the other one is card draw, banish, and this is all useful stuff. But I'm going to not play an arena. <laughs> Gonna go ahead and uh, play some ladder matches. I have overall dropped I think like 200 score. Um, so, I guess throughout the course of... Oh, here's a bit of a spoiler rose meme. <laughs> but hey, between between learning that, that uh, Dragoncraft isn't doing as well as I'd want it to right now, and trying to rose meme on ladder for a little bit to get some practice with the deck, only losing 200 throughout the day isn't too bad, and I've mostly recovered that because of this, this Satan Haven deck. So, I'm going to jump into a game. Necropolis Queen. Hmm. That is a card that I like. I like card draw. Prepare to die. I am prepared. Oh, I need to change my flare back to not a prayer. You must die. All right. Well, I definitely want priest of the cudgel. The curse. It's fine. We'll use him eventually. Hello. Give for the well manner. Charmed. Come on, two drops. Okay. There we go. I called. She's here. Odin's around just in case. We got our turn one, turn two, turn four, turn eight. 
you know, standard curve. Welcome home, sir. I want to get something on the board. That's not an amulet, I should say. Obviously, an amulet would be something on the board, technically, but not the point. Another maid leader, okay. Themis is perfect, and then we're going to draw a bunch of cards next turn, so we're pretty much set. This hand actually worked out pretty well. we'll never surrender. Yeah. No! This is a bit of a poor trade for Priest of the Cudgel, but I'll take it. I will take it. I mean, on the other hand, we could Prism and Evolve. I think I actually like that more because of the chance that we're going to get another plea. Just leave her with a 1-1. Yeah, let's do it. Let me show you something. There it is. Question is, do we play it? I think so. You are done for. Yeah, it's, it should be fine. I'm as, long, as long as we play one card a turn from this point out, we're going to be not overdrawing. Me? Cool. She did the same thing Priest of the Cudgel would, but she also got us a uh, Sacred Plea, so... Right? Is that the word? Sacred plea? Yes. We'll never surrender. This is obviously control, I imagine. Um, I don't know if there would be any reason for... Um, all that trying to get value ended up not getting us Priest of the Cudgel value in the Your end. Evil Fine. End now. The real battle begins. I still think the last play was fine. She just didn't play into my Priest of the Cudgel shenanigans. Now see, this is the turn where we want to play the cudgel, but no, that didn't happen. It does. Well, she just can't handle it. I'm gonna take up my tiger. There's nothing to fear. Now you're gonna take out Moon All Mirage. Wow. All right. Well, so See right. the the fact that she oh Hamza. What? Are we getting memed on? And we didn't <laughs> draw a good response to this either. Holy crap. Okay. Actually, that's not true. If we grab the console, there we go. All right, cool. But I'm sacred. No, retreat. Now, do we Odin that? It has Bane, so I feel like that's a good Odin target. But at the same time. At the same time... Yeah, I guess that's... Because hmm. what else do we want to Odin? Leonidas, I believe is, is his name. I feel like this deck might run it. We do have other Odins in the deck. But I don't want to just Themis' this one guy. Do we go for broke and play Prison Priestess again? I think so. Let me show you something. Oh, didn't get didn't get rewarded. We got punished. 
I guess we could just evolve, hit him, and then blacken the scripture. That's bad. I, I, that was a mistake. Could have been good, sure. It could have been really amazing, actually, but it didn't work out. Here she comes. It all ends here. She's evolving just to kill a unicorn answer. That's crazy. Also, I see wonder if she has anything in her hand to deal with what I'm doing. You know what I'm talking about? I don't want to just trade an Olivia for an Olivia. I think I might just Themis is here. Yeah. Amazing, but I won't lose again. Oh. Nice. She didn't have. Uh, she, she didn't want. She has something obviously important in her hand. She didn't want to play into my into my removal spell, which is weird because even if she had a bunch of little things, you would think she would just play them out and let one of them die. So is her hand only big heavy late game? Oh, Bahamut. It's not bad. And she did give me minions. Yeah, I'll definitely go ahead and Odin the Bahamut. Slave here, the battlefield tower. You wouldn't. Uh. On my blade, victory and prosperity are yours. All right. Welcome home, sir. Now she doesn't evolve her. That's good. I shall protect you. Uh, she evolved. Her. Okay. Featherblade, show your true power. A true warrior of Valhalla. And we don't have an evolution for Priest of the Cudgel. All right, we'll just play Olivia this turn. A new world is our desire. Naive. You were done for. And especially didn't play like the maid leader last turn, you know? Like, sure it would have died, but at the same time, it's it's a one one and drew her a card. I mean there's a chance that she top decked it after she passed her turn, but still. That's what I wanted to actually Amazing, but I won't lose again. We could banish this. <sighs> but we'd have to the only way to banish this would be to run Moon into it. Because I don't want his resolve on the battlefield. I wish it was a better way, but I think we have to do that. The moon drives me crazy. It's such an icon. Oh, it's so bright. We basically gave her one of our our moons for free, but at the same time, <clears throat> things potentially could have been a lot worse for us if we hadn't done that trade. I think. Odin? Well, a little too late, buddy. Your evil deeds end now. The real battle I'd prevent her card draw. I see, oh, so at this point, we're basically just looking for Prince of Darkness to Why finish out the game. And we potentially can finish out the game with, with multiple cards in our hand, but that one is the closest thing we have to a guarantee. Bahamut, alright. I will Bahamut this one, I think. I 
I should still have another Bahamut in here, too. So we have to remember that we do have Prince of Darkness, so our deck technically can have up to, like, 21 more cards in it. So worst case scenario, not doing too bad. Let's she can evolve that. That's pretty good. And Priest of the Cudgel's gonna love this turn. Nice. Your evil deeds end now. Let us conclude. I see, Owig. Hey, that hurts. The battle failed away. I think she's gonna be forced to board player us at this point. I don't think she can handle letting us have minions. Yeah, so we should be able to win the attrition battle at this point. Sky Knights, prepare for battle. Alrighty, hopefully it just hits me, right? Nope. I was too weak. Stop me. He can attack twice a turn, but I don't know if I'm really threatened by that. Let's just draw some cards. Where is our Prince of Darkness hiding? Watch it be the last card in our deck. That would be a hilarious top deck. <laughs> Just have her think we don't have it, and then all of a sudden, bam, here he is. At your service. Stop! Yeah, come on, do the six to me. Get over with. Uh, Alright, cool. Not as bad for us as he might think it is. Live long, I Obey heaven's work. Obey worth. heaven's work. Ah. May all life prosper and be blessed. Glory! I think we still have another Lucifer in there, too. We like only have our end game in the deck, which is obviously how you want it to be on the the last few turns. Glad I saved Odin. The darkness. Make haste, sleep near the battlefield tower. Onto you, the light. We have another Odin in the deck too, actually. Waiting for a response. Okay, so there we go. Nice. You ain't never heard of Orichalum. I don't imagine a dragon would talk like that. But I, I, who knows. Here we go, okay. Now last time I recorded a video and I said this is the matchup that I'm waiting for, this is the matchup I'm good with. Uh, I got wrecked, so I'm not gonna say it this time. I'm just gonna, nope. I'm just gonna say nope. Well, Odin is one of the... <laughs> Have you noticed every time we fight Shadowcraft, we get Odin in our opening hand? Whether we want him or not in our opening mm. hand. I, I say or not, but I mean, obviously you never want to start with Odin in your opening hand. You'd rather draw him on curve, you know what I mean? Yami's feeling hungry! Alright, so this is... Definitely aggressive. Not a great top deck there. We're gonna need a Priest of the Cudgel or 
a really good evolved comeback from this. No! Not to come back, but to help us stabilize quicker, I should say. Now we're in overdraw, aren't we? No, because our hand's going to stay at six. Okay, never mind. We're good. I really would like a black inscription right now, but we can save that for other stuff. No! Themesis would also be a good... Okay, here we go. Come on, Priest of the Cudgel. Hit me with him. Oh, boy, really? Alright. Fine. Do we go for this? Just don't hit Chimera, please. Oh, nice! Wait, we don't have to evolve that. What am I doing? Bad, bad, bad. This one. I don't want to give her shadows. Now I got Radiance Angel, Unica. Alright, we're doing well. Time to go a little That's scary, though. You're gonna evolve it? Really? She's going real aggressive. Again, Priest of Cudgel top deck would be very nice here. Beast Call Aria. This doesn't want to give me him, does it? Oh. Our hand is too full. You are done for. Your path has been laid. Obey heaven's word. Sorry, gotta go. We do have two Odins though. Those are the cards we mainly don't want to burn. Holy crap. Holy aggro, Batman. No, no. Please don't burn anything good. Uh, that's arguably good. So this makes what? Two skeletons when it dies? Yeah, I don't really want to pop that. For no reason. This isn't a forcer to kill Unica. The issue is here with how badly we're doing, even if she sets up a turn where she plays um, like Nephthys, we're gonna have a really hard time. You gotta mess with me. Coming back. Hopefully it hits the 1-1. One, one. It did not hit the 1-1. One, one. That is very unfortunate. I think we just lost. Actually, yeah, we did just lose. We have no way to stay alive here. The only way we have to stay alive is if we play Tribunal and it hits a Skeleton. And now we potentially live. Potentially live. Well, that's, that's, uh, oh boy. Yeah, no, we're dead. We are super dead. Most impressive. All right, well, there we go. <laughs> that is why I'm no longer going to be like, ah, this is a matchup. Now, that matchup we actually do fairly good in. I think it was, I mean, we didn't get any Black Inscriptures or Priests of the Cudgels, which is really crazy to think about. All right, you know what? Let's go ahead. Should we do another one? Let's go ahead and do one more. <sighs> okay. Oh. <sighs> Are we fighting Seraph? Or is she just like that emblem? May eternal peace be yours. Oh man! If only I could have had this hand last game. Oh no! <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> really? I love that these last couple days have been... You know, it might also be that these last two days I've recorded when I'm extremely tired. But, I don't know. I don't know, man. Ooh, sorry, I don't mean to be rude and yawn on the mic, but I am exhausted. Okay. 
What are you gonna show me? I am ready to receive your wisdom. Give me a sacred plea. Nice. Let's see if that's what she plays too. She's going straight for that, man. She does not want me to have a 2 2 on the board. Now, do I go for that? Is the question. Yeah. Why not? She might know more than I do about this. Seeing as how. We, we both play Haven, but I've been playing Dragon for a while. Maybe she knows something. I'm going to try it. Let's go for this. Lost in Wayward One. Oh, gosh. Such tired. I don't want to evolve Tiger here. I'm going to evolve the bird. Well, if I evolve the Tiger... So if I evolve the bird, we get two for one to High Priest of the Cudgel. But he lives. If I evolve the tiger and hit, then we get two for my priest of the cudgel, but he dies because he has to hit the tiger. Okay, let's do it. You are done for. I don't know if you guys see what I mean. Like, if we left the tigers a four four and we evolve the bird and kill the angel, then she could play priest of the cudgel. Banish the bird, hit the tiger, and he'd live with one. But by doing it this way, Priest of the Cudgel has to banish the bird and then hit the tiger and die. Assuming that she did that. There are definitely other things she can do. I'm trying to cover my mouth when I yawn, so hopefully it's not in the mic too loudly? Yeah, that's definitely the word. Hmm. We do have a sacred plea on board, which is me good for going long. Let me show you and now she's going to have one too. I can only assume at this point. You are done for. Now, did she take the value train? Or should she kill the tiger? She took the value train. I see. That is her decision. Bird song. So I think we're finding Seraph. So I've been noticing with Seraph, you run into a lot of. They have just like kind of a mixed bag of amulets. So you, sometimes you think they're Storm, sometimes you think they're Alana, and then all of a sudden, you know, bam, they're they're everywhere. Or they have everything, so. I assume she's on Clay Minion this turn just because the countdown amulet. Oh, she's in a heal. Makes sense. And while she did heal, I mean, ultimately, it did give us some value. So I'm okay with that. Just play Luxhorn. I'm... I think I will go ahead and evolve her. Just because we have Olivia. And it'll make her a little harder to deal with. She doesn't have anything to hit, but again, I just... If I play... If I end up playing Olivia on curve, I would like to have gotten full value out of our evolves. And by putting a 7-7 on the board, it does threaten her greatly. Cool. That's fantastic. She's going to rely on Odin. Or not Odin. She's going to rely on um, Seraph to try to win her the game. Make haste, slave deer. The battlefield tower. You're in my way. And we can evolve Odin to take out the bird. 
She might, she, if she has Themises in her hand, she's almost 100% has to attack us and then Themises. No Themises. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, that was even more efficient because now she got to keep her minion. All right. Hopefully, uh, Prince of Darkness is going to finish this game out for us. I'll just play Olivia next turn. Kill the bird. Heal. All right. No! She didn't evolve it, which is obviously fine. A new world is our desire. Even hitting like a Moonal Mirage would help us get her into a a scary range from her point of view. She might pop this if she has more ways to change the countdown to kill Livia. Which is alright. I'm okay with it at this point. Now that we have two evolutions, if we play Prince of Darkness right now, we can potentially evolve to Pale Riders. But I'd most likely evolve Prince of Darkness to help us get board control. Actually, I don't want to play Prince of Darkness because her amulet's about to finish counting down. So I'd want to play something else. I'd want to play amulets, I guess. Oh, never mind. Cool. Ugh. So we can go ahead. And, um... We could Priest of the Cudgel here, actually. I know I'm basically... skirting around actually finishing the game out now, but... The real battle begins... And I can't play Sacred Plea right now, because I can't imagine that I'm going to be playing multiple, playing enough cards per turn to make myself not overdraw from it. Alright. You know, this is actually good, because now we can kill her whole Arya with our own Bahamut. If she has another Bahamut in hand, though, how do we deal with it? Oh, a Themesis. Actually, do I just Themesis right now? Yeah. Themesis, Beast Call, Sacred Plea. There we go. Better. And now, if we have to Bahamut, we'll draw cards and pop our Beast Call. Huh. Eh. Oh. Oh my. Now, does she evolve for the damage? She does not evolve for the damage. Alright. I don't want to use my last evolution right now. Oh, you know what? We want to um, draw more cards in case she plays a second Seraph. Oh, no, well, there's Odin, so never mind. I still think I want to draw cards. Lost in Wayward One. But I'm not going to evolve anything. Yeah. We'll save this evolution. Potentially for Lucifer or Moon All Mirage. Just anything that potentially can help us steal out the game later. And she's probably digging for her own Prince of Darkness at this point, I'd imagine. So I want to get mine on the battlefield this coming turn. Since we have Odin in hand. To deal with Seraph. May you rest in peace. Yeah, she she's she must be digging for it right now. She's digging for that or Seraph. So Lana's Prayer. She has a little of everything. I almost feel like she's playing a singleton deck, but obviously we've seen that she's not doing that. The problem is this is going to pop and draw a million cards soon. There's nothing we can do about it right now. Yeah. 
Nothing we can do about it. Let's just play this. We're, gonna, we're just going to overdraw one card. That's not too bad. And then because I want to push damage, I'm going to go ahead and just use Evolve now. So I can hit her with the Angel and just wipe the bird out. And next turn, these are both going to pop, assuming she doesn't kill our minions. And so there'll be room for the Aria. Oop. Sorry, that was pretty loud, wasn't it? Hopefully you guys couldn't hear my phone going off. Evil deeds end now. Cudgel? The real battle begins. I see Is Cudgel a problem? Next. I don't think so. We still have an 8-5. The darkness. The moon drives me crazy. There's moon. Perfect. And since she has ward, we can kill her without having to worry about getting through the cudgel first. Okay, and we and we burn the one that we'd want to burn too. That's fantastic. Hmm. All right. The moon drives me crazy. It's such an eyesore. We are not going to be casting plea because we do not want to mill ourselves. And with the pill rider in hand, we are. I mean, Themesis stops her from dying next turn, but we're doing pretty well. And she doesn't seem to have Themesis, so I think we win. Your evil deeds end now. Yeah. We got this. Uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, we won. Oh! I have lost. Oh, okay, well she... Alright. She, she was gonna die anyways eventually, so it worked out. Wonderful. So that's how the deck works. I mean, it's Havencraft. It's not anything revolutionary. I just think that right now is definitely a good time to be playing it. Um, I feel like it's always a good time to play Havencraft, to be honest. I just had to remember my roots. Kira had taken me to the dragon side, and I've gone back to the church. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right, well, I'm going to render this video and edit it down and go to sleep. I will see you guys some later today, I guess, kind of, depending on where you live.